All right, guys. Mr. Hamlet here. Um, Jonathan, kick us off. Jonathan Ramlikon, Five Reasons Sport. Martin, you've been through the PFL a couple of seasons now. This was your best season thus far. How do you feel those experiences in the past couple of seasons allowed you to be there, your best this season? I feel like the two, two, two couple of seasons have made the fighter I am today. So this season, you really see a confident and calm fighter. And when I have found my home and I feel relaxed in the organization, I believe I'm the most dangerous man. Now, you're, I spoke to Impa, and he said he potentially feels he has a speed advantage coming into the matchup. Where do you feel like maybe your advantage lies going into the, the next fight? He has speed, but I, I tell you, I got speed too. So um, I am a very explosive fighter, and um, you can definitely see that on Friday. Awesome. Thank you, my man, and good luck. Thank you. Patrick. Hey, Martin, there's Pedro McCord from Combat Sports UK. So um, when we talk about this matchup, I know you've been talking about the Silvera matchup for a long time. We'll get on to that in a minute. But talk to me about the Impact and Sagna matchup. Where do you see your advantage lying in this one? Um, I'm a bigger fighter. He got a little bit of speed. I got two. But I, I see myself like, I just see myself better in every situation. He He's a puncher, but he punches into uh, the wrestling and he going to feel like very small in in that kind of situation with me. And um, how do you see this fight going? What's your prediction for it? My prediction for this fight is that I end him in the first round. And uh, the Silvera matchup, you know, it happened a while ago, and you've been wanting the ma uh, the rematch ever since. And now, if he wins here, you could get it and higher stakes. It's for all the marbles per se. What what corrections do you think you've made that will help you in a rematch with him? I have to look like the last uh, last couple of fights for him. You know, every fight living their own life, can I say? And um, I believe I I believe that me and him will see each other in the final. And um, yeah, I will after this fight, I will sit down with my coaches. We will plan a, a good game plan and uh, execute it on in uh, in the final. Thank you and good luck. Thank you. Yeah, then. Uh, hi. If you were to win the million dollars in the tournament, how much of an impact would that be for Scandinavian MMA? It's a huge thing for Scandinavian MMA, but we like, we got Sadibusi last year. He showed the, the way, it showed it's possible. I've been close to, so I feel like. Yeah, I can be the big thing and and show the the fighters coming up and uh, yeah, especially in Norway to to be the first one that wins a a huge belt uh, in a huge organization. Okay, thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Jay Christian. Dark horse. How are you, sir? Good afternoon. Thank you. You're welcome, Jay Christian Gary at Focus Fights Audio. I mean, I know that you're saying that you're going to beat up on Impa Silobo Kasangane, but when it comes down to this particular fight, do you know anything about him? I mean, have you studied any tape on him? Yeah, I have been studying him uh, very closely and been watching him for a long time, and uh, I'm I'm excited for this matchup too. Um, I am, and. Uh, but I don't think he have tested himself against a, a really, really good light heavyweight, and especially style, uh, with his style and my style. I think uh, I think it's a very good fight for me. I see, I see. When it comes down to the other fight that's on the other side of the light heavyweight bracket, Conita Josh Silveria versus Ty Big Madison Flores. Have you, I mean, which fight do you think would basically be the more imposing fight, Flores or Conita, Silveria? I think it's, uh, I like, uh, I like uh, Ty Flores. He's a good guy and uh, very friendly, but I think it's an easy fight for uh, Joshua this, uh, this weekend. I see, I see. And I mean, considering the fact that your roots 
are basically embedded in the Nordic MMA scene, the Scandinavian MMA scene, the European MMA scene. If you do win the million dollars, how much do you think would go toward building up the scene in that part of the world? How much do you think would be... uh, What am I trying to ask? What do you hope that fans from outside of the Nordic and Scandinavian scenes would get to understand uh, your journey to that million dollars? A lot of people just seeing short clips of the of the journey, but the journey has been riding for 25 years. And uh, and now it's like I'm feeling I'm getting into my prime. And uh, like, like this season, you see a calm fighter. And uh, I believe... When I win this this year, um, it will inspire a lot. Uh, I hope it will inspire a lot uh, young fighters to come and uh, and to see also that they can find a home uh, if they if they make good wrestle and stay dedicated. Um, and especially like a uh, an organization like PFL, you have to stay dedicated not for like one fight or two fights. It's a whole season, and people don't get it. It's it's very different to to stay so good during a so so long uh, time. Hmm. Would you basically say that this season kind of rivals the hockey season, since that's a pretty popular sport in Norway as well? Yeah, it is because. I, I, I have been trying to like uh, maximum my 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 performance uh, every time in the last couple seasons, and I feel like I'm a little burnt out m- m- midway in the season. But this year I felt like I've been ninety percent all the time, and I'm not burnt out. I'm just not like I'm not the best shape of my life, but I'm not the worst shape of my life. So I'm in the season uh, like a season shape. And um, and then we can have a little bit time off after the semifinal, and then we can build a maximum um, uh, performance in the in the final and be in top top shape. Understood. Well, other than that, dark horse, best skill to you on Friday. We hope you do well. Thank you, Dylan. Hey, Martin. Dylan Napoleon with New England MMA. Uh, were there any adjustments or changes that you made before this three fight win streak, or do you credit just the training and the hard work? I think uh, I changed a lot with my trainings, so I'm listening more to my body, and I have brought all my trainings back home. So I'm training in a little bit, yeah, in a little gym, uh, and uh, I have not many sparring partners, but I bring a relevant and good sparring partner every week, a, a new one. Uh, I believe that uh, plays a big uh, a big role in this whole situation, but um, yeah, I feel maybe the experience the experience from the couple to other seasons, the other years, not just for hard work for one or two years. It's been a very long time period uh, with hard work, and I finally, yeah, uh, you can see it on my performance. All right, Madi. Last question. Hey, Martin. This is Madi from Wizdas Media. Um, hey. We spoke a little bit last time about how big it would be for a Norwegian MMA to have a fighter representing them uh, in the playoffs. And with everyone in Norway looking up to you, I know uh, Norway still, I believe, does not allow uh, for mixed martial artists to compete professionally. How big is this for? Norway as a country and with everyone uh, looking up to you, uh, or, does that add any sort of pressure in the situation? No, no pressure, but of course it's it's huge for the the country of MMA in Norway. Uh, but I, for me, it's not huge to be in the playoffs because I was in the playoff in in my first season uh, and I went out in the second season. So it's it's like feel like another day in the office. But um, to put it right, it feels not huge to be in the, in the play of this year. It will be very good feeling to win everything. And you can see um, my expectation for my career 
and my skill set and everything uh it's it's much much higher this uh, this season than the other two so that's why i'm like yeah it's it's a it's a good good sparring session awesome and then i've been asking every fighter this what will you do if and when you win the million dollars what would be the first I got thing this you question i got this question in 2021 so um now i like i'm not planning everything uh money go, uh, comes and goes and uh, i really need to invest them for my future that's awesome good luck this friday thank you all right thank you so much thank you our team appreciate the time thank you we're just gonna go right next door and then you're all done mm -hmm.